After going through some of the best homemade engines, we return to a brand new list covering some of the weirdest engines out there. So stay tuned and let's begin the top 10 countdown. At number 10, the glass steam engine. I don't think you can really get any more weirder or impressive than this one. Every part in this engine is made out of glass and that includes the crankshaft and even the piston. The piston and cylinder had to be hand sanded to perfection in order to avoid cracking. And by the way, there are no seals used whatsoever. So we are looking at pure skill and brilliance with this model. At number 9, the Fluidine Engine. So what exactly is this contraption? Well, it's a very odd engine variant, and it uses hot air to move one or more pistons, which would be liquid pistons in this case. So in this particular build, the cup is holding boiling water, which allows the two liquid pistons to move. So it's a fairly simple concept. Um, I haven't seen any actually run any vehicles or anything like that, but it's still a really cool novelty design. At number 8, the wooden double acting air engine. When it comes to originality, this motor is one of the best, and it's not something you would expect. It's built almost entirely out of ash wood, and it's a solid build even though it runs on air. It did take a little bit of tinkering on the inlet port to get it working, but it can spin up to 420 RPMs, which is really impressive. Creative Opsin also has a talent for building wood engines, and he's also working on an 8-cylinder radio, which will be really neat to see running. At number 7, the B6 Sterling. Combine a conventional combustion design with a Sterling engine and you get this pure madness which requires nothing other than a blowtorch. We have seen a couple of Sterling models, but this one's a little bit comical and it's impressive at the same time. Every part was machined and it's missing some heat shields and baffles for better efficiency. It's probably not going to power your car because you will have to keep a blowtorch on it, so you're not going to be winning any races with this one. At number 6, the 3 cylinder rotating engine. At first glance, this looks like your typical radial engine, but it's actually a type of two stroke rotary engine. So each cylinder rotates and it's radially arranged around a central crankshaft. So it's not overly powerful or anything like that, but it is a one of a kind design by Mr. Hansen, who has also built other unique engines over the years. So there have been a few rotary variants, including the infamous Bentley BR2 from World War I, which was used in quite a few aircraft variants at the time, but you typically don't see this type of engine in modern day aircraft. At number 5, the Mechanical Eye. Mechanical steampunk stuff is really cool, and this Mechanical Eye is one of the neatest hot air engines. And the same creator has also built a lot of other cool stuff, which could easily take this whole list up. But anyways, it is a twin cylinder design which drives a flywheel and power disc. The power disc moves the central eyeball, giving it an autonomous appeal. It works like your typical Sterling and moves the pistons by using hot air. It kind of looks alive to me somehow, but hopefully it'll stay purely mechanical without any implemented computer chips. At number 4, the oscillating twin Sterling. I was a bit perplexed on this particular build, and it puts a twist on conventional Sterling designs. So once again, this one works by utilizing the expansion of hot air, and it's fueled by wick with a small flame. This one takes a two-fold and it oscillates with two power cylinders. Maybe not the most efficient thing in the world, but it's an impressive and meticulous build. At number 3, the 4-cylinder Sterling engine. Yes, once again I'm covering another Sterling build, but this is one of my favorites due to the fact it's built into a mini-track tank. It also uses a clever design utilizing two cylinders per heat source, but the creator could not stop there and he actually built a solenoid engine crawler. I couldn't find too much about the design, but if you're into weird engines propelling small vehicles, then he is one of the best builders out there, and he's definitely more talented than I am. So make sure to check out my description and click on the link to his channel. At number 2, the Devil 16. This is kind of not homemade, and most people did not even believe this was even real when it was revealed. Apparently it has over 5,000 horsepower and 37 foot-pounds of torque, which is a little bit overkill. It is comparatively designed to a Chevy small block. The engine block itself is over 48 inches, and it probably took a lot of machining just to even get this thing down to scale. With 4 mounted turbos, it's intended for a hypercar capable of 300 miles per hour speeds, and it was recently unveiled at the Dubai Motor Show.
At number 1, the Hercules 16 cylinder. The first homemade engines compilation involved me viewing countless videos and digging up old engine builds. But little did I know that I missed some of the most epic builds, which included this one. So the creator notified me about this crazy 16 cylinder inline engine, which took over 13,000 hours to build, and it's just one of the best homemade engines you will ever see. It utilizes four engine blocks from the 40 year old Volvo B20, but most of the parts were built from scratch. Almost every step of the build was methodically documented, and there's just too much to list here, but it's probably one of the most detailed projects out there. It's a product of sheer determination and hard work. So congratulations Mr. Starstorm, you've probably built one of the best homemade engines out there. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.